Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you the beauty of autumn in the Pacific Northwest. The inspiration came from a recent hike with my family where we traipsed through the fields and gathered blackberries. The main difference between then and now is the blackberries that I'm using today are ornamental. There's no thorns, no stickers, and they're absolutely fabulous. The wilds of the Pacific Northwest are filled with vine maple. All summer long, it's a vibrant green color. Just gorgeous, adds so much to a design. But then right about now, the end of summer, it changes, starts turning color, becomes so much more beautiful. You can see the contrast between the green and then the bronze leaves, so grand, and it holds well. And then even as it starts to dehydrate and crinkles, still beautiful. Give it a cut, mixing the green with the bronze, bring in a little more, and just radiating outward from a central binding point. Oh, these are so bright and luxurious. And then believe it or not, here in the Pacific Northwest, there's old hydrangea bushes out in the wild. And they were probably a homestead at some time, but now it's just overgrown and crazy. And these types of hydrangeas last forever. They just dry naturally. They're so sturdy. Tucking them in low, bringing them. And then sedum is also abundant here. This one is actually out of my garden, right in front of the creative center. Didn't get it out harvesting but it matched so nicely, I thought I have to stick this right in to add a little bit of texture and contrast. The ornamental blackberries, they're from a local farm right here in Oregon, and they're so much nicer than the blackberries I picked because there's no stickers, so I can add them into the design without hurting myself. Now, they're not edible. These aren't the type that I picked and that we use to eat, but aren't they fun? Tucking them into the design, adding that little bit of natural touch, so you had been out picking blackberries, bringing it through, draping over to the other side. And yes, a little bit of a surprise to me, even after they're harvested, these that aren't quite ripe, they will ripen, they'll darken, change colors, just as though they were still on the vine. That was kind of a fun treat to discover. And we have another local farm doing celosia. It's beautiful, bright, vivid, adds impact into the center of the design. It comes in different colors. And then bringing in some of the viburnum berries, also from a farm locally here. Just breaking them, they're so woody, you want to kind of weave down the side and then insert it in the center so that it brightens that color up in there, coming it to the front, and then continue adding until it's nice and full. If you've ever been wild blackberry picking, you know it includes a lot of traipsing through the weeds. So I couldn't stop with a design that was so pristine. I had to add Mother Nature's accents, the weeds. So again, I went out to the Creative Center garden and harvested some of our grasses, just pulling apart bunches of them, giving it a cut. Don't want it to be too long. And then using a pick machine so I can put an artificial sharp point on it. That'll make it a little easier to insert into the design. And I can just set it right down in, adding the accent of weeds to the arrangement. Again, giving it a cut. Adding the pick. And then inserting it down in. And then repeat that. I added some already so that they're ready to go. Filling it in until it's nice and weedy. Autumn in the Pacific Northwest, which lasts through October, is absolutely fabulous. I invite you all to come visit. Stop by, I'll make you a cup of coffee. Now, if you need more creative inspiration, check out our website at flowerschool.com. If you have questions, you can reach us through there or pick up the telephone and give me a call at 503-223-8089. And of course, I'd love to see what autumn looks like in your world. 
take a picture and share it. You can use my personal email. It's Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at FloralDesignInstitute.com. Now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.